Alright, well hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetree Solar video. And in this video we are going to be doing a load test on this brand new 1000 watt low frequency inverter. This is 24 volts, split phase, although I'm not running it in split phase. And, uh, you know, I guess it does not matter. Well, before I get into that, GenetreeSolar.com. 833 Genetries, toll free where you can text me or uh, call me at that number between the hours of 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. So uh, I've been really excited about this brand new inverter that, that uh, Powerjack uh, made. And they're starting to really get into uh, some better quality products. And they are making great strides despite bumps in the roads. Sometimes they make missteps. Uh, they really, truly want to have an improved product. So uh, this inverter here, uh, I've got videos on it already. Um, and uh, it doesn't matter what I say or what I do. There's going to be somebody that's always going to say, yeah, right. This is Power Jack, and I know Power Jack. Okay, so... I, what I have set up here, as you see, there's a big, huge clock there, so it's unmistakable uh, exactly how much time is passing. I have a 1,500-watt heater right here. This is a 1,500-watt heater. It's a true 1,500-watt heater. I have it plugged in right here, okay, to this extension cord here, and it is running into the inverter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on the heater and I'm gonna let it run and you guys can watch this big huge clock here to see how much time actually passes until the inverter shuts down which I it's not gonna shut down until the batteries run too low I am going to be monitoring the battery voltage and what I have it set to is at a point where it'll be safe for the batteries because I'm not going to risk damaging all of my batteries or severely reducing their life just so that I can prove to someone or the few doubters out there that this inverter is you know capable or not capable of doing what PowerJet claims. I've had this thing running for about six or seven hours now and I've done all my tests and I know what's going on so combinations of this that or the other thing or this possibility or throw a needle into a haystack and get this and it won't do that no this is true testing right here in front of you okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn on the actual heater and it looks like it's about three minutes past noon on this clock okay three minutes past noon on the clock the heater is running. Boy, is it toasty, toasty, toasty. Now, keep in mind, this is inside of a 1500 watt low frequency chassis. There is a 2000 watt transformer in there. This power jack rates to 1000 watts. It has automatic cooling, high speed fan. It is customized for this customer. I would not not request a specific converter from PowerJack if I knew that it was not going to meet the customer's expectations. So when I tell you it'll do a thousand watts continuous, it will do a thousand watts continuous. I don't care what you say or anyone else says. It doesn't matter to me that you had all these problems with PowerJack and so that from here on out for the next 5,000 years they've got crappy products. No, I'm here to prove to you that it will actually do what it says. Specifically ordered this with the customer's needs in mind. So, here we are, 1,500 watts. There's no alarm, there's no problem, there's no nothing. That transformer in there is actually out of a three to 5,000 watt transformer. That's the size of that transformer. So if you even go with the 50% rule where you go with half it should be able to do 1500 watts all day long if you've seen the video of the inside you'll know that it's actually got a uh, a 3000 to 5000 watt low frequency mainboard in there 
So here we are at 1500 watts. The heater is still running. It's still running fine. The inverter has not complained yet. It's not beeping. Nothing else like that. In fact, I'm more worried about my batteries shutting this inverter down before the load shuts it down. So anyway, you can see we're still running here. I'm going to leave this thing running. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to get to see just how well this thing is actually performing. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to leave my phone recording. I'm obviously going to be doing some other stuff while I'm here because I have to keep working, but I will leave this running just for you guys. I'll speed it up so you'll be able to see that thing go around, and as soon as the batteries decide to give up or whatever else, we'll stop the test. And uh, if you still don't believe after all of that, then whatever. <laughs> At this point, I... I really do sympathize with those of you who have had problems, but that does not mean that every single product that PowerJack puts out is bad in any way, especially considering that I'm putting my name on this inverter. So I'm not going to send out an inverter that does not meet the requirements of my customer. I'm not. And this was a special order for my customer. So what are we going on? What, three, four minutes now? 1500 watts still? Seems to be doing just fine to me. Alrighty, so we are going on 25 minutes now, 1500 watts, 25 minutes. The fan has come on, uh, it usually comes on about every 5 minutes or so. I'm just going to check my battery bank here, even though it hasn't been complaining yet about low voltage. I have a feeling, I mean I'm pulling 1500 watts at 24 volts out of this battery bank so the inverter is obviously warm oh, that's stainless steel so it doesn't uh, there we go the inverter is obviously warm let's see what we got for voltage oh getting pretty low here we're at 24.17 one six one seven volts so it is getting pretty low of course there is a load on it so as soon as the load comes off it's gonna go up a little bit uh, but yeah it's uh, it's obviously pretty warm but it's doing great the fan like I said comes on about every I'd say five six minutes or so Runs for maybe a minute and a half and then shuts off again. Um, so it seems to be doing pretty well in that regard. Uh, battery cables are warm, but not... I mean, they're barely warm. Let's 
So yeah, we're still going. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep going. Once my uh, batteries get down to about 24 volts, that's when I'm going to shut it down. If this isn't proof enough for you that it can handle an actual 1500 watt load, we're going on almost 30 minutes now. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else. I know some of you want that, that combination of this, that, and the other thing. And if it fails that test, then boom, the whole thing is junk. But uh, this is a real world test here. This is not some skewed thing or specific situation. This is literally somebody in a tiny house or small house, whatever you want to call it, or an RV, or something else like that, running this inverter to power a heater. It could be a ceramic heater, whatever it is. This is a 1,500-watt heater. As long as they have the batteries for it. Again, that's the critical part. As long as you have the batteries for it, it will run this load. And PowerJack, they designed it for 1,000 watts. But they over-engineered it a little bit so that we had some wiggle room to work with. That's the whole point. It was specifically designed, and I'll say specifically a thousand more times. I don't care. This is my video, so I can do whatever the hell I want to in this video. But it was specifically designed for this situation. Specific. That's the point. If you went on eBay and tried to get any power jack inverter, it's not specific to you and what you need. You can get a generalized, I need this or this or this, but this was engineered for this particular case, for this particular customer. They had a minimum list of requirements that they needed for this inverter, and power jack built them an inverter for those needs. If you need a generalized inverter, you can go to eBay, you can go to Genetry Solar, whatever, and get a generalized inverter. I am showing you that PowerJack can build inverters that are to the specifications. And just because the 8,000 watt inverter doesn't do 8,000 watts continuous doesn't mean this 1,000 watt inverter won't do 1,000 watts continuous. We're going on a half hour now. 1500 watt load it's still going it's still running no problem and I think if my batteries could last longer it would keep on running and it would run indefinitely okay when an inverter is being overloaded when it's actually running near its max number one the fan is going to be on all the time number two you're going to have an extreme dip in battery voltage. The sine wave is going to look like crap. It's going to get ready to shut down. It's going to alarm. It's going to start beeping. And it's going to eventually shut down. We are going on over 30 minutes now, and it has not done anything. It has it complained about heat. Yes, it turns the fan on once in a while, because obviously the transformer is warming up. And that's it. So, I... Uh, I don't know how else I'm probably going to shut it down. I think 30 minutes is enough. I think I've proved my point. I know there's still going to be somebody out there who's going to say, but you didn't do this or test that or yada, 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 yada. The inverter is really warm. I can't even see that. Twenty four. 0 0.05 volts so I think I'm gonna shut it down here just because I don't feel like burning up my batteries to prove a point I shouldn't have to prove a point and uh, there you have it so all right half hour 1500 watts still running still hot I turned off the load but because it's
kicking up some heat still. It might actually kick that fan on one more time. I'm not sure. So anyways, there you have it. Uh, I don't know how else to show you, prove to you. I'm not doing any power factor calculations or anything else like that. This is a 1500 watt heater here, okay? I don't know what else you can do in your own home or whatever where you're going to say, but that doesn't apply to me. The person who's going to be hooking up this inverter to their breaker panel because they need a split face, they're going to be running stuff like this. They're not going to have some big, you know, jungle gym of all this other combinations of this, that, and the other thing. And because the power factor isn't this, well, boom, the inverter's going to go. No, this is a real load test right here. Real load. And I have run my window air conditioner. As cold as it is outside, I actually turned it on in the house, and it started and ran fine, okay? The ceramic heater, the space heater, the shop heater, they all run fine, okay? The tools around the house, they run fine. It runs fine. So, anyways. All right. I think I've vented enough. <laughs> there you have it. This is a good product. This is a good inverter. It does what PowerJet claims and more. That's the point. This is where PowerJack is going. They are not going to just stick with, we're going to make special order inverters that will handle what we say. They are moving in this direction. This is a taste of what's to come for PowerJack. This is what they're starting to build. They get it, okay? They are trying to build inverters that are for everybody who can actually use them and need what they say, okay? All right, anyway. GenitreeSolar.com. 833 Genetry if you want to get a hold of me. And yeah, take care.